Hi, this is Linda Fulkerson, and I want to talk to you today about another one of my favorite tools. I'm at BigStockPhoto.com, and first of all, I'm going to talk to you about why you use stock photos on your website. There are images that are called royalty-free images, and then there are those images that you have to pay royalties to the photographer or the illustrator or the company that owns the rights to those photos. Well. The reason you can use stock photos is that way you don't have to be responsible for paying those royalties. You can have high quality images at a fraction of the cost. Sometimes it can cost thousands of dollars to get royalties to a large image that you want to use on your on your website. And if you're wondering, well, can I just go to Google Images and find the image that I want and just slap it up there? Well, you can do that, but then I've known people who've gotten a letter from like Getty's Images is one example and then they have to pay because they've used an image that they didn't have the rights to use and didn't pay the rights to use. So it's always best to make sure that you use images on your website that you have the authority or the license to use. That's why I prefer to use a stock photo from a reputable collection, a company that has the licensing already taken care of, then I can put it on my website with confidence and not worry about things like getting the letter from the big company. So this is big stock, um, excuse me, bigstockphoto.com and there's a lot of reasons why I like this. You can get a subscription where you pay every month and you can download um, five images a day for a specific price per month or you can download actually more but that's the, I think that's the lowest prescription excuse me subscription I don't know why I said prescription but anyway you can uh, download so many images a day and then you can also buy credits so there's just a way several ways that you can do it if you don't think you're going to need a lot of images then you can just start by getting some credits and then purchasing the images from your credit balance as you need them one reason I really like this company is because some stock photo companies I have used in the past you pay for the image or you pay for the the download and then you, if you want to download it later then you have to do it again you have to pay for it again this one lets you like if I go to my downloads I can see all the images that I've purchased in my downloads and then I can reuse those images again and so that way I've already got the license for them I don't have to pay for them again right now it says my downloads 394 images so that's a lot of images and um, I can save I can put favorites if I'm searching and I find some that I might want to use later might not want to pay for right now or you know if I get five images a day maybe I want to wait and if I'm building a website for a client I want to make sure that I have high quality image on images on there and I can like see which images I might want to use later for another project and so I, those are my saved ones and then my downloads are the ones that I actually have access to and I can download another fun thing about this you may have heard of a tool and if you haven't I've got a, a video about it called Canva where you can edit photos and do different things with them well you can do that let's just take this one for instance we can you can do that right here inside big stock photo they have a new feature this is fairly new for them I can edit and re-download this photo and if this is a motorcycle photo so if you want to um, find a, a quote about the image that you're going to use I could I can crop this image I can rotate it I can resize it I can round the corners maybe we just want to do that a little bit we'll apply that and now the image the corners are going to be rounded I can change the color or I can add a text so let's just do something maybe this one here um, let's see Gloria hallelujah and I want it probably my text color to be maybe um, maybe a lighter color because I'm if I'm going to put it up in the in the sky. So here's what I'm. I can, it says you can edit your contents. So I'm going to save that and I'm going to double click this and put. Um, let me get this out of the way. So when life th throws you a curve, take it. That's an old motorcycle phrase. So right there, I can I can put that. That's 
it's still hard to see, but I could put it down here and then it'll be easier to see. So I can make this bigger and I can um, just do several different things. Suppose I want to center that, I can center it and then that way it'll be easier to read. Let me just move it over here. So that's one thing that I can do if I um, if I want to use this editing feature that they have right here inside Big Stock Photo. As you know, it's really a popular thing to put images that have text on your website and then I can also put another text bar and um, and then just I want to save that first because it doesn't know and then I'll put another one right here and just maybe put like lindafulkerson.com double click to edit me and then I can put this down here in the bottom I'll move this and that can direct people to my website and I, if I want to save all of this I can save it and then I can download it and I can name it whatever I want to I can't spell and I can download that and so right now it says when life throws you a curve take it lindafulkerson.com so I can post that on my website and I which I will do for this because I'm going to say this is how you do this image so if you want to get related images from bigstock.com that, that's just how you do their little edit feature and it doesn't have as many fancy things as you would like say in Photoshop or even Canva but if you just really wanted to do um, an image with your text like we did then you can go ahead and do that and it was very quick and easy to put that on there um, so that's that feature and, and like I said we can continue to edit those and download any of the ones this is the related photos that go with that so this is about motorcycles and so I can click on that if I want to see it if I'm not sure if I want to use something if I just want to build up a site um, for and use placeholders like for a client for them to look at it I can download a free preview it will have the the big stock watermark on it but I can download that for free and I don't have to count it against my credits or my daily downloads if I have a subscription one of the really cool things right now is that you can get a free um, a free trial let me go ahead and go to another link for you if you're interested in it I'm gonna have this link in this blog post and it says try big stock for free for 14 days and you can get up to 70 royalty free stock images for 14 days boom just free and that way even if you don't want to continue with your subscription then you can keep those 70 images to use as you want they have really good support if you need it they have upfront pricing it tells you about that right here you can get free re-downloads which like I said that is not available on every stock photo client so that's a kind of an important thing and then they have an amazing collection they have 27 million royalty free photos and they also have vectors and illustrations another thing I like about big stock compared to some is if I'm going to do um, this is on the credits but if suppose I wanted to go look for one let me just go to the home page and um, let's just type in book if I have a subscription then I can pick something with and it's not going to cost more right here it's credits for more because I have it set for credits on my because um, I, I don't have a subscription currently I have just the credits built up but if you are buying with the subscription instead of credits you can get any size small medium large or extra large for your daily download allowance without it costing more and you go to some photo stock photo um, places and they're going to charge you a lot more for the download from the small or extra small than they do the extra large just as they do with the credits but when you have a, a subscription like this week trial um, this two-week trial then you can download whatever size that you want as you'll notice if I go to my downloads 
um, I have all different sizes. This one, this one is extra large. Um, it was for a client site. Some are just medium if I'm just using them for a blog post. Some are scalable vectors and those are really expensive with some stock photo companies. The, the scalable vectors that you can make whatever size you want and use it, they're suitable for print or whatever. Those can be very expensive, the illustrations. So as you can see, I have a variety. This one is just a small, medium, scalable vector. And then I have some, like I said, that were extra large. Most of the time I just get a medium one because I'm going to use them primarily for a blog post. So I don't need the great big huge ones because that can take up a lot of disk space when you're loading them onto your blog. So like I said, I really like this site. I've been a customer of theirs for a while now. I don't remember when I actually joined, but I um, have been a member for a while and I just wanted to introduce this to you and let you know that this BigStockPhoto.com is one of my favorite tools and I wanted to do a little video about it and I will have a link in this blog post where you can start your free trial and you're under no obligation to continue it. You can cancel it after you download your images every day for the two weeks and keep those images in your, you can just log in even if you don't have a subscription you can log in and get your images and use them over and over again. You can edit them and put text on them and have fun with them. So this is Linda Fulkerson. I hope you find this video useful and I hope you enjoy uh, your free trial subscription to BigStockPhoto.com. Thanks for listening.